Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the Vol Ages Hollywood Show now here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. In this video, we do the full five battles of the Triborg Sector Challenge on hard difficulty, which has like one day and 17 hours remaining, but no hurry to get that done because, well, easy to do. So, in the first matchup, only bronze tier characters allowed on your team. In the first matchup, we have Monk, Trooper, and Ash Tech. Hurts start off at level 15 Elite 3. Skip the matches 1,000 coins. Yeah, let's make WW Mortal great again, guys. Monk gets eliminated. Trooper is in and takes a heavy shot. Trooper eliminated. We're gonna get off the miss on Oshtak, which is blocked, so he's gonna be able to survive that. Oshtak eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 1,232 XP, 200 coins. What's going on, Jonathan? 45457. Welcome to the broadcast. In the second matchup, we have Shuri, Ryu, Sergeant, and Sarya. Cards gain two levels of 17. Let's get the matches 1,000 coins. Fight. Shuri, Ryu is going to get eliminated. Sergeant comes in. I just got done having anal sex on Trooper in the parking lot right after work. And what a pimp Sergeant. If Sarian comes in, we got the missed on him. That's going to do heavy damage, but not get rid of him. Sorry and eliminated. Sergeant comes in, and we're going to get rid of him for the victory in a second fight. 1,247 XP, 300 coins. In the third matchup, we have Trooper, Oshtek, and Oni. Cards gain two levels of 19. Skip the match is 1,000 coins. I can totally understand the struggle new players have. I started MKX... When the Cold War Sonya Challenge already started, I didn't have a single gold card, and my best card was a Silver Elite 1 Kano, so I ended up missing what would become the best support card in the game. So yes, very true on that. However, Classic Sonya is supposed to be a good counter for that, I've heard, so you're not totally out of it, and you can get by Cold War Sonya Blade. Basically, just use your garbage card to trigger the barrier if you're using a good, a good gold card classic scorpion and sometimes you just don't give a shit you get off two special ones and you still win the game anyway let me get to eliminate for the victory in the third fight so yes i do read comments that are posted in twitch if they have constructive criticism obviously i'm not going to pay attention to the spam shout outs or anything like that so we win three matches in challenger battle mode for 3,000 coins 1,892 xp 400 coins in the fourth matchup, if challenge Dark Magic, your team takes damage as the match goes on. Run up against Lin Kuei, Sarian, and Sargent. Cards gain two levels to 21 Elite 3. So the match is now 2,500 coins. So Lin Kuei barely gets out. Sargent is in. I'm gonna get off the mist and try to get rid of him. That was not blocked, so Sergeant eliminated. Lin Kuei eliminated. Sarian is it. And there's Lin Kuei at one bar. We're gonna get off the mist. Sarian eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 1914 XP, 500 coins, and the question is is Aaron racing against Hollywood Shono like he said he was gonna do? So for completing one third of the first battle on hard difficulty, you receive 1,600 coins. In the fifth matchup, we have Trooper, Oni, and Muck. Cards gain two levels and a promotion to 23 Elite Four. So the match is 2,500 coins. Fight. You find it really hard not to use the soul on Mortal Kombat X. Well, the problem is with the diamond cards, it is a power creep, although Raiden and Nalina are the huge power creeps. Scorpion kind of just gives you extra utility with your martial arts. And being able to start at a bar and a half is pretty cool. If you have Shaolin Kung Jin, you can start at two and a half bars, meaning that you can have two characters start at three bars. So. I don't know, there's some benefit to it. Obviously, the 50% reduced damage from Nether Realm and immunity to crit are pretty cool, but. I still think Raiden or Melina might be better. 
1,935 XP, 600 coins. So in the sixth matchup, we have Sarian, Sergeant, and Shuri Ryu. Cards gain two levels of 25. Skip the matches, 2,500 coins. What did Arkin say? I missed it. Okay. Oh, okay. He was talking about Cold War Sunday. I read the whole comment. Off. Rassle lover asked the question. I wasn't even sure what it was about. Sarian, yeah. Sergeant comes in. Really good seeing chat lit up today. Very good to see that. Especially with WWE 2K17 coming out next Tuesday, and they will be doing a long stream. I might even just buy a digital copy of the game so I can stream Monday night. Who knows? Got off the missed on Shuri Ryu. Blocking might not save him. Yes, it does. Sergeant comes in. Machine Fire puts him at half a box. Sergeant is going to get eliminated. Shuri Ryu gets off the Kune for about 7 7. But we're going to go off the mist and get rid of Shuri Ryu for the victory in the sixth fight. 1,957 XP, 700 coins. What's going on, Vampire Vive? How are you tonight? Welcome to Straight. In the seventh matchup, we have Monk, Oni, and Trooper. Guards gain two levels of 27. Scott the match is now 5,000 coins. Well, the best way to level up the bronze cards is just use your gold cards in Faction Wars, and you can get them up pretty quick. That's pretty much how I did mine with Classic Scorpion. I would just use the bronze cards with him. And Monk is a really solid choice, because if you eliminate Monk, your guy gets the three bars from two, and you can do an X-Ray, and there's no defense against X-Rays in Faction Wars, even for the defensive team, so... It's a good way to eliminate somebody. It's also a good way not to have to put Shaolin, Ku Jin, Dark Raiden, uh, Balance Kenshi, or uh, Revenant Ku Lao in your team. Or Hellspawn Scorpion. Technically, because he gains power too. 1,979 XP, 2 souls for winning 7 matches of Challenger Battle Mode, 800 coins. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. We're up against Sergeant, Sarian, and Ashtak. Cards gain 2 levels of 29. Skip the match is 5,000 coins. Uh, Aaron is racing me, Jeff Black. We're going to see who completes the challenge first. He probably will, because I don't really have that many maxed out silver cards. So I have to slow down on fight 2. I probably got to spend souls to clean up fight 4 quickly as well. So Ashtek comes in. We might see a Tortellini coming up. There it is. Got the Tortellini. Try to say Tonto Claus. I think Tortellini sounds cooler. Hits for 1086. Ashtek is in. It just sounds better than Tonto Claus. I'm going to punch Ashtek right in the cock. That's going to power drain him under one bar. But he's going to get back up there. Doesn't use a special. Sergeant gets eliminated by Johnny K. And we're going to go off the mist on Ashtek. Will that be enough to get rid of him? No, it is not. We're gonna wipe him out. Sarian comes in. Then we got another miss. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the eighth fight. Yes, Pharaoh Ermac is gold. 2,668 XP, 900 coins. I'm currently training my combatants for Pharaoh Ermac. I can, in case you don't know, will only need Gold Martial Artist and Master Souls Ermac for the last two towers. Yeah, I've heard about that too. So, completing two thirds of the first battle, you receive 2,400 coins. In the ninth matchup, we have Trooper, Oni, and Shuri Ryu. Cards gain two levels of 31. Skip the match is 5,000 coins. Fight. Well, I mean, I have Kenshi, Sonya at like Elite 6 or 7. I know I have Scorpion that is like level 40, so Elite 7. It's mostly Fight 2 that I gotta slow down on. Fight 3, not really. Like, I use one team of bronze cards, and then I'll probably throw in, like, Sonya Blaine for the last four fights or something like that. So it should be a problem. I'm only taking a heavy shot. I'm sure right is in. That Kune hits for about 960. We got the miss. I don't know if that's going to be blocked. No, it is not. Let's just punch Pony right in the balls. Harry Nutsack. So Johnny Cage gets burnt. Shuri Ryu is in. We're going to see no more cock shots here. So we're going to off the mist and try to get rid of Shuri Ryu before the victory in the ninth fight. Wow. 
1,697 XP, 1,000 coins. In the 10th matchup, we have Lin Kuei, Saryan, and Ashtat. Cards gain two levels and a promotion to 33 Elite 5. Let's get the matches now, 7,500 coins. Ermac is a pretty underwhelming card. I mean, you can use Master Soul's Ermac to cheat out three bar with Mournful Katana. But other than that, it's a pretty underwhelming card. Sure. Alright, we're going to have to miss and try to get rid of Sari. It is pretty low. It does wipe him out, so that was the correct play. Lin Kuei is in. And we're going to take a miss here. This is about 941. Not really in any trouble. We do have Oshak. Opponent's Oshak. We're going to punch him right in the ball. Best special one ever, by the way. Lin Kuei back in. We're going to punch him in the cock. Does not get rid of him that well. Oshak comes in. We're going to go if he missed. We haven't seen any special twos, but I really don't like Lin Kuei's special two. And Oshak gets eliminated for the victory in the time fight. Going on to wall 360, welcome to the stream. 2,726 XP, 1,100 coins. In the 11th matchup, we have Oni, Trooper, and Shuri Ryu. Cards gain two levels to 35. The right card gains a promotion to Elite 6. This going to match is 7,500 coins. Let's turn on two Expo Gamers, welcome to the stream. Trooper comes in. Trooper about to go down. There she goes. Three right in. Boy's blade is going to be blocked. Outstanding. Hits for like 1300. Kune hits for about 1290. Oni is in. We're going to punch him in the top. He's going to get unblockable once we can just get rid of him. He's close to that car. Let's just punch him. Join me down. That didn't even power drain much, so Oni is gone. Shuri Ryu comes back in. Johnny Cage got power drain. Gets caught on the miss there. That hits for 1306. So let's get in Oshtek. We're gonna go off the Toralini and get rid of him. Boy, the victory in the 11th fight. 2,755 XP, 1,200 coins. So for the 12th fight, we have Challenge Regeneration. Let's throw in Monk. I'm really good with his special twos. Let's throw in Trooper, and let's throw in Oni. He's a pretty durable card. So for Monk, we're going to give him the entire bloody set because we do need power generation on somebody. So for Oni... Oni. Let's give him basic damage gear. Let's give him the Ice Daggers. Let's give him the Draconic Shield and the Brawler Gloves. Now for Trooper, we're going to kind of go for Power Generation and Block Breaker. So we're going to give him... Or give her the Dragon Essence. Let's give her the Revolvers. Let's give her the Saurian Armor for more health. Well, the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Run up against Saurian, Oshtek, and Sergeant. Cards gain a lo two levels to 37, but the right card loses the promotion to Elite 5. This is the match is 7,500 coins. And if you want the best card to level up to Elite 7 in WWE Immortals, try Mad Science and Grey White. That card is ridiculously good. The problem with Dean Ambrose is that there's like four cards that the combo ender does not stun, and it actually works really well. Trust me on that one. That's not going to eliminate him because he blocks, but it does power drain because of the bloody talent. Let's get Oni in, who's got more basic damage. Maybe we can set up for a knockdown. So there's Sargent. This fight is really hard until you start eliminating each other, and you really kind of have to build somebody up to two bars. There's Oshak. Let's burn him. Let's burn him again and get Monk in. That's got him pretty low. That's going to miss. And, uh, there's the quick tag out, so this fight is really annoying because of that. We have to catch him off guard. There he is. So we're going to go up to Shaolin style. Will that be enough to get rid of him? 
Yes, it is. Ashtag comes in. Not quite at full health. That gets blocked. The trooper is in. This is a block breaker. Right Unfortunately, we reacted a little bit too slow. Not gonna knock him out. Sergeant in. Let's get Oni in. Now that we got rid of one, it's gonna be a little bit easier to isolate two versus three. That's the part of the block. So we know that Monk has the bloody set. And we're definitely gonna use that to our advantage. We're gonna take a little damage here on Oni. Let's spit out. And Oshtek tags out before we can get off the fist of four. Monk almost at two bars now. So if he can get the two bars, he can get another elimination. It's really important to have somebody with maxed out special too. That way you can bring the pain to them really quickly. Unfortunately, Monk is a fairly slow attack now. Oshtek in at two bars. We need an unblocked attack. There we go. Somebody got the Shaolin style. Oshtek is eliminated, and now the fight gets a lot easier. The Sergeant in not quite at full health, but you basically have to one-shot people with their special too. There's the block breaker. Now we're going to go for the Akimbo. Good damage, and we're going to burn the Sergeant for the victory in the 12th fight. 2,784 XP as we win 12 matches for 4 souls, 1,300 coins. So for completing the first battle, you will receive 8,000 coins. So in the second matchup, Silver and Bronze Steer characters only allowed on your team. In the first matchup, we have Oshtek, Monk, and Reptile. Thank you, Dragon71, for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Vassals Club. So in the first matchup, we have Oshtek, Monk, and Reptile. The bronze cards start at level 40, Elite 6. The silver card is level 30, Elite 2. Let's get the matches 2,500 coins. Is it? I believe he's blocked. Still blocks there. Now we got the unblocks. Let's go up the shallow style and get rid of him. So reptile in at two bars. That's not going to do too much. We probably should have kept Monk in because he does have the bloody shark. That spit's going to do some work. We're gonna burn Reptile. Oshtek in at two bars. We're gonna burn him as well. So we got Trooper in. And that is not blocked, so uh, the Akimbo will get rid of Oshtek. No special two from him. Reptile taking some hits. Reptile gets eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 2,755 XP, 300 coins. In the second matchup, we have Trooper, Lin Kuei, and Cassie Cage. Cards gain a level of 41 and 31. Skill the match is 2,500 coins. Fight. Oh yes, having a bar of power is a big deal. For sure. Like with Classic Scorpion, you can have him along with Revenant Kung Lao. And then you can start at three bars if you have the Wrath Hammer or the Bloody Tomahawk maxed out. Both options are pretty cool. Obviously, Raiden can benefit from that too because he's from two classes, but you can't use. But the only one that he's not is Nether Realm. We got the Fist of Flare that should be enough to get rid of Trooper. Yes, it is. But Lin Kuei is in by himself. Monk doing most of the work, but it doesn't really matter here. We're gonna hit the Fist of Flurry on Lin Kuei and then probably burn him. That's not gonna be enough to get rid of him burning him, but we're gonna try it anyway. Impressive. Second burn should get rid of Lin Kuei for the victory in the second fight. Is there a way to level up gold cards faster and more combat X? Well, there are level up cards you can use, or just do faction wars. You get quite a bit of XP for that. 
I never use full bronze cards for Tower 2, so you may have the advantage. Yeah, it is a little bit trickier, but it does make it a little more challenging. 2,784 XP, 400 coins. But the main reason that I do it like that, let me show you guys the silver cards. The reason I don't use, like, full silver cards is because, let's sort by, I guess we have to sort by attack. But you can see from maxed out cards, I have four, not Sonya, but Sub-Zero is one of the worst, like, stat cards for silver, so that doesn't even count. Like, Devora at Elite Four almost has as much damage as Sub-Zero, even though he's got 11,000 health. He is a pretty tanky card, but definitely a weak card as far as damage goes. Keep in mind, he is only level 31, so I might be selling a little bit short, but I can guarantee you that Kenshi is the best card, followed by a comboed up Cassie Cage that has uh, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade on the team. For the third matchup, we have Monk, Shuri Ryu, and Sonya Blade. Cards gain a level of 42 and 32, so the match is 2,500 coins. Fight. Is it bad I spent two months to fully max out all my bronze cards? No. The bronze cards are pretty crap. Like the only bronze cards that are really useful is Johnny Cage and Monk. Other than that, all the bronze cards suck. Oni's power drain can be useful in some situation, but you have to sacrifice. Like 99 out of 100 times, Oni's passive is just stupid. But there is that 1% of the time where having that bar is a power drain. Like, for example, Sonya Blade at two bars right now. It could be a good choice to power drain her. Because we know how deadly your special two is going to be, so let's do this. That power drains under two bars, so the bloody tomahawk, very useful there. Sonya Blade pretty much getting burnt to a crisp. So it's Shuri Ryu in by himself. The forest blade's gonna do some work. And we're gonna burn Shuri Ryu before the victory in the third fight. The only fatalities are in certain tower battles where a certain character has to be used. 2,813 XP, 500 coins. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Vampires. Enemies drain your life to regain their own. Run up against Sergeant, Trooper, and Devora. Cards gain a level of 43 and 33. So the match is now 5,000 coins. Fight. Oh yes, if you have a pretty maxed out bronze card, you don't need silver to do the second fight. The only problem is... Dark magic might be a little bit tricky, and regeneration is a pain in the ass. So if you can avoid those two modifiers, you can totally, and you probably can do hard. Like if your ninja mind Johnny Cage is maxed out, it hits like a truck. His gear item also gives more basic damage in the ring stack than anything else. So, there are some uses. Like, I think it's like, what, 60% basic damage to Johnny Cage in the range slot? Everybody else gets like 25 or 30%. It's something crazy. So that block, so that gets avoided because too far away. You can't combo that. And it's a block breaker, so you don't really need to. Here's the board comes back in. Let's just grab it and try to get rid of it. That is enough to eliminate her, so Trooper comes back in at one box. With the attack pattern. Hits for like 1,300. We're going to grab and then get Trooper in ourselves. So we got the Akimbo. It is blocked, so that's probably not going to get rid of her. No, it's not. It's going to block. And we're going to burn Trooper for the victory in the fourth fight. Is it possible to fix a water damage iPod? You probably have to take it into a re retail shop. I would imagine so. There's a sensor on there that you probably have to replace because it does, like, render the iPad useless. It's mostly for, like, their testing purposes. But, yeah, you can do something to it. I've heard rice, but I'm not really sure. 2,842 XP, 600 coins. So, for completing one-third of the second battle, you receive 3,200 coins. In the fifth matchup, we have Monk, Ashtek, and Kun Jin. Cards gain a level of 44 and 34, so the match is 5,000 coins. Fight. I 
it's really amazing how much of a big deal like water resistant mobile devices are these days. Like the Samsung Galaxy S7, even the iPhone 7 got a board on it. They didn't really have to take out a headphone slot. Samsung didn't have to do that. And if you can't charge the iPhone 7 while using, I don't know. I never personally use both headphones and a charger at the same time, so it feels bad, man. Oshtech is in. That Tortellini hits for some damage. Keep in mind, only Monk has been used. So Oshtech about to get eliminated. Kung Jin comes in. That's really good because he's not at two bars. And we can get off the Shaolin style pinned against the wall. That's going to do some work. Kung Jin is gone. The Bounded should get rid of Monk for the victory in the fight. Two thousand eight hundred and seventy-one XP, seven hundred coins. In the sixth matchup, we have Sergeant Shuri Ryu and Kano. Curbs get a level of forty-five and thirty-five, so the match is five thousand coins. Fight. Wow, that's pretty cool, Arkham. I mean, it sucks because hurricanes can be deadly, but it's kind of cool to see one in person as long as you're like out of range of any damage. What do you guys think about a GoPro Hero 5, by the way? I heard it does like 2.7K resolution at 60 FPS or something like that. Pretty cool. I mean, I've heard really good things about a GoPro. I really kind of want to get a 5 that way, like if I go on like rides and shit. And it's also waterproof, too, so you can probably even like sneak it in the pool or something. Get some like underwater food. I don't know how that would work, but that'd be pretty badass. Kano at two bars. That does some damage to Monk. We're gonna go the Shaolin style and get Monk out so he doesn't get eliminated. Shuri Ryu almost eliminated. We're just gonna burn and get rid of him. Kano is in. Sergeant is in pretty bad shape, so is Kano. We're gonna spit and get rid of him. Sergeant is in. And Sergeant eliminated for the victory of the sixth fight. 2,900 XP, 800 coins. In the seventh matchup, we have Monk, Sarian, and Kolo Khan. Cards get a little of 46 and 36, because the match is now 7,500 coins. Fight. <laughs> Let's get off of these Shaolin salads, try to get rid of Monk. If it doesn't wipe him out, he's going to be extremely low. Yes, it does. So, that spit gets reflected for 1653. So, that's the perfect play to just let him use it. Although, that one we took. But the bloody Shogun armor, when it works, is really powerful. Here, we're going to take that Sun Sun. That's probably going to wipe Monk out. Yes, it does. The only gripe that I have about Mortal Kombat X is that you can't block if you get combo. Unlike in Justice Gods Among Us, where you can still block, but obviously certain characters have it worse than others. Like, for example, it's hard to block a shield toss from Wonder Woman, but it's pretty easy to block an electric burst from Shikama Habib. We're gonna burn him, sorry. That should get rid of him. Khan will get eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. 2,929 XP, 900 coins. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. We're up against Sergeant Oni and Reptile. Cards gain a level of 47 and 37, so the match is 7,500 coins. We have two bars. Let's get off the Shaolin style now. If we can get rid of Sergeant, that'd be cool. We barely. Survive, but we power drain, so that's a little bit nice. Oni gets block broken. Trooper doing some work. The block breaker definitely coming into play. Oni, however, gets tagged in, and Trooper is at two bars. Reptile comes in. He can't block or reflect the special there, so Monk comes back in. Oni getting corroded. And getting corroded again, so Oni is in. 
Power draining Monk is not really a good idea, although he does block, so he's not going to get eliminated. That burns for 1784. So Sergeant and Trooper in. That's probably a waste because Sergeant was so low. But we get rid of it. Oni comes in. And there's the burn on Oni. Let's get up another one since we can't even do another one if he gets power draining. So Reptile's in at about two-thirds health. Monk is in, we're gonna have to fist a flurry and then block. See if we can reflect them to one health. But we're still gonna wipe out Reptile for the victory in the eighth fight. 2,958 XP, 1,000 coins. So if we're completing two thirds of the second battle, you receive 4,000 coins. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Sonya Blade. We kind of want mid-range cards. Let's throw in... Let's throw in Ermac. Let's throw in Kolo Khan. Sonya. Now you guys know how much I love Sonya Blade Special too, so let's throw on the entire bloody set on Sonya Blade. For Kolo Khan, we're going to throw a basic damage gear in here. Sonya does have a lot more damage than Kolo Khan. And obviously, this isn't a really good team. We're just kind of doing it because we don't really need anybody with Kenji or Scorpion. But I think Sonya kind of does because of her low health. Ermac. So Ermac, we're going to go for the Dragon Essence, the Revolvers, and the Saurian Armor. So in the ninth matchup, we have Monk, Oshchak, and Johnny Cage. Cards gain a level of 48 and 38, so the match is 7,500 coins. Fight. <laughs> Taking heavy damage from Sonya Blade, no reason to use special on her. Let's go off the energy ring. Block still wipes out Oshchak. Johnny Cage is in. Thankfully, Sonya didn't get pussy punched. Put it off the arc kick while we still have power. Superb. And that is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 8th and the 9th fight. 2,987 XP, 1,100 coins. For the 10th matchup, we have Trooper, Sergeant, and Ermac. Cards gain a level of 49 and 39, so the match is now 10,000 coins. comes in. Let's just get off the energy ring and get rid of it. Cooper comes in. He's gonna do minor damage. Cooper pretty much gone. We're back ready to get destroyed. Kind of getting greedy though. So let's just wipe out Ermac. And we're gonna get the force lift. Down goes Trooper for the victory in the top fight. Three thousand and sixteen XP, one thousand two hundred coins. In the eleventh matchup, we have Saurian, Monk, and Kenshi. Cards gain a level of fifty and forty. The silver card gains a promotion to Elite Three. So the match is ten thousand coins. Kenshi does get forty percent attack for having a martial artist, and Saurian doesn't really do anything. I think he's like five percent attack or something like that. Sorry, and it gets away. Kenshi comes in. That's exactly what we want. Energy ring is blocked. Still takes out about 75% of his health, and the power drain added bonus. Hard kick blocked is not going to save Kenshi. Spoiler alert. You lose. The monk is in. Not quite at one bar. Now we got the arc kick. Monk should be eliminated for the victory in the left flat. 3,045 XP, 1,300 coins. In the 
12th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening. Power generates at a slow rate. Going up against Sergeant Oni and Jack Briggs, who is black. The silver card's level 40, Elite 3. The bronze card is level 50, Elite 7, gaining a promotion. Let's give the match is 10,000 coins. Yes, listening to music backwards is definitely like Halloween for sure. Fight. Here's a bit weak damper. We do have power generation from the bloody choking ring. Sergeant pretty much gone. Saving our energy ring for Jack Rick. Oni comes in next. That's really bad. Sonya at three bars. Jack Briggs comes in. We got the alert force. Didn't even knock out Jack Briggs. I think that was a bad play. The arc kick on Oni. Outstanding. Not get rid of him. Let's try to be sneaky with a burn B up. Yes, we do. Oni gets eliminated for the victory in a 12 fight as he kills himself. 3,074 XP, 1,400 coins. So for completing the second battle, you receive 16,000 coins. In the third matchup, silver tier characters only allowed on your team. In the first matchup, we have Reptile, Jackie Briggs, and Sonya Blade. Cards start at level 40, Elite 3. So the match is 5,000 coins. Yeah, I've noticed that too, even though it does usually have better effects. Like Reptile... His special 3 is really powerful because it does regen the whole team. So there are some uses. Obviously, defense boost can be useful in some situations, but you have to have it leveled up. Pick got the energy ring, get rid of some uh, Jackie Briggs. Sonya Blade comes in. Let's see if we can reflect some arc kicks. Does not use it. We got the arc kick of our own. Outstanding. You lose. Will Sonya kill herself? No, she does not, but we still get rid of her for the victory in the first fight. 3,045 XP, 400 coins. In the second matchup, we have Kung Jin, Sub-Zero, and Kano. Cards gain a level of 41, so the match is 5,000 coins. I still do Halloween. I think it's awesome. Fight. Scaring kids and pissing them off. It's also better at a haunted house. Like, if they're scaring the little kids and the big ones are just laughing at them, I think that's hilarious. Yes, I'm one of those assholes. Energy ring gets rid of Kate. Sub Zero is it. We got the arc kick on Sub Zero. We are at one bar, so we can get off another one. Outstanding. Sub Zero eliminated for the victory in the second fight. Outstanding. 3,074 XP, 500 coins. In the third matchup, we have Cassie Cage, Reptile, and Johnny Cage. Cards get a low of 42, so the match is 5,000 coins. Start at one bar is pretty powerful. Cassie Cage taking some resistance to cover Johnny Cage. But she does have 65% health. So Johnny Cage is in. We definitely want to get rid of him before he gets to one bar. Let's get off the energy ring blocking. That will save Johnny Cage momentarily. Can we get rid of him before he gets to one bar? Yes, we do. Cassie Cage is in. We got the arc kick on her. That's probably not going to get rid of her. But a second one definitely will. Reptile's going to come in. <laughs> Bad aim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please do an extinction event. Yes, please. Let's not get reflected, though. So that kind of sucks. And uh, Reptile eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 3,103 XP, 600 coins. Bra Halloween, I will make my little cousin shit herself. See? 
That's, that's what I'm talking about. Scare the little kids, have fun with them. And if you get a rise out of it, even better. Kenshi. So in honor of Aaron is back, we're going to be using Jax Briggs and Jackie Briggs. Scorpion. Because they're black. So we're going to use the Ice Daggers, the Bloody Shokin Armor, and the Brawler Gloves. On the fourth matchup, we have Chetlane Vampires. Enemies drain your life to regain their own. Going up against Sub-Zero, Kung Jin, and Kano. Cards gain a level 43. The right card gains a promotion to Elite 4. Let's get the matches now. 7,500 coins. I'm actually going to be wearing a Joker mask. I got it from the Renaissance Festival a couple years ago. I got a Jason mask at FYE for like 45 bucks, but I don't have any good enough outfits to get it. Kung Jin is in. The spirit get rid of it. Almost at one box. And Kano eliminate for the victory in the fourth fight. Scorpion an overwhelming Kano. And guys, beating an Elite 7 Tanya with a Johnny Cage, having punches can be really powerful, especially if you have block breaking gear. 3,132 XP, 700 coins. And for completing one third of the third battle, you see 4,800 coins. In the fifth matchup, we have Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and Reptile. Cards gain a low of 44, so the match is 7,500 coins. Cage We're going to spear Sonya Blade. Blocking's not going to get rid of him. But it is going to take out about a third of her health. Well, our kick does a little bit of work, but we're not really worried. So we're going to have 20,000 health of us. Get off the spear. Get rid of Reptile. And we're going to spear Sonya Blade. Excellent. Just to add insult, we're going to use the Gotcha Beatdown and get rid of Sonya Blade in style for the victory in the fifth fight. Impressive. 3,161 XP, 800 coins. In the sixth matchup, we have Devora, Kungjin, and Sub Zero. Cards gain a level of 45, so the match is 7,500 coins. Is it? Really YOLO in an eternal vengeance. Sub Zero should be eliminated. No, he's not. Wow, that didn't actually do very much. He really does a lot of damage even if the opponent blocks. I'm just gonna wipe out Sub Zero for the victory in the same fight. 3,190 XP, 900 coins. In the seventh matchup, we have Classic Katana, Kolo Khan, and Cassie Cage. Cards get a low of 46. The match is now 10,000 coins. Fight. Classic Katana definitely has the nicest ass in the game. Classic Katana eliminated, Cole Khan comes in. Cole Khan eliminated, Cassie Cage is in. We're gonna get rid of Cassie Cage for the victory in the second fight. Get over here! Three thousand two hundred nineteen XP, one thousand coins. 
In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic. Your team takes damage as the match goes on. Going up against Devora, Kano, and Ermac. Cards gain a level of 47. Some of the matches, 10,000 coins. Well, they probably feel your Elite 7 can handle an Elite 5 health spot. According to their matchmaking, anyway. Spear Urban trying to get him out quicker. Impressive. Get over! Take out half of his health. We have to block. Looks for like two seven. Urban eliminated. Kano is in. Spear Kano. That's gonna take out a good chunk of his health. And Kano eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight. You see how ridiculous Dark Magic is. Three thousand two hundred and forty-eight XP. One thousand one hundred coins. And for completing two thirds of the third battle, you receive 5,600 coins. So we're going to make another roster change. We're going to throw in Kung Jin, Cassie Cage, Kenshi. and we're going to throw in Kenshi. That'll just overwhelm everybody. Kenshi. So we're going to give him the Ice Daggers. Let's give him the Bloody Shokin Armor, and we're going to give him the Brawler Gloves. So in the ninth matchup, we have Kung Jin, Cassie Cage, and Kenshi. Cards gain a level of 48, so the match is 10,000 coins. Now, Kenshi does have the same synergy as my Kenshi, but we do have a little bit higher stat. Kung Jin eliminated, Cassie Cage is in. We want to save our offense for Kenshi. So Cassie Cage gets wiped out. We got the power drain. We're almost at one bar for another one. 6592 power drain. That's balance. I'm just gonna get rid of Kenji for the victory in the eighth fight. Three thousand two hundred seventy-seven XP. One thousand two hundred coins. In the tenth matchup, we have Jackie Briggs, Scorpion, and Ermac. Cards gain a level of 49, so the match is 12,500 coins. Fight. Jackie Briggs eliminated, Ermac is in. That's a heavy shot for over 4,000 damage. Ermac eliminated. Scorpion does get the spear out. Doesn't do that much for Kenji. And we got the rising sword on Scorpion. They actually hit the 100%, 16,478 damage. Scorpion obliterated for the victory in the time fight. 3,306 XP, 1,300 coins. In the 11th matchup, we have Devora, Cassie Cage, and Jax Briggs, who is black. Cards gain a level of 50, so the match is 12,500 coins. Fight. Oh yeah, Silver Tension can be treated like a gold cap. Devora eliminated, and Cassie Cage is in. Cassie Cage gets wiped out. Jack Briggs is in. Now we got another rising sword. Again, we hit 100%. Down goes Jack Briggs for the victory of the 11th fight. 3,335 XP, 1,400 coins. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Run up against Kobo Khan, Sonya Blade, and Kenshi. The cards remain at level 50, Elite 3, 3, and 4. So the match is 12,500 coins. Now, Kenshi does have the most health at 14,000 plus 40%. Although, 15% attack from Sonya Blade. Kobo Khan, I believe, only gives 15% attack to himself. But at 8,000 health, it's not going to regenerate quicker than Kenshi can do the damage. Kobo Khan eliminates. Sonya Blade is in. 
Kenshi destroys people. Sonya Blade and Lip Kenshi comes in. We can get an unblocked rising sword. There we go. And we only hit 90%, still enough to get rid of Kenshi easily for the victory in the 12th fight. 3,364 XP, 1,500 coins. And for completing the third battle, you receive 23 souls. And I have the degree of Vampire Vive, a challenge is motivating, and I only play MKX Mobile on an iPhone 5S too. So in the fourth matchup, your team must be made up of only Netherrealm characters. There is no restriction on gold or silver. So we're going to turn the, the Netherrealm filter on. Obviously, we're not using Hellspawn Scorpion. So to start off, if we sort by attack, but we have the war, the Revenant team. That's a good one. Let's start off with Cold War Scorpion, Dark Raiden. And let's use... And that's probably enough, but let's use Unstoppable Jason Voorhees as insurance. So Cold War Scorpion, we're going to gear up with the entire bloody set because I really love the special too. It's annoying and it's powerful. So Dark Raiden... We are going to give, let's give him some damage gear, and let's give him the Draconic Shield along with the Brawler Gloves. And for Unstoppable Jason, Jason Voorhees, let's just give him the, let's give him the Executioner, actually, he's a murderer. Let's give him the Hockey Mask, and let's give him... Dragon Essence. What's going on, Lombax? For well, the first matchup, we have Devora Cutthroat Kano, who costs less than other gold characters, and Flaming Fuck Liu Kang. Silver card starts at level 40, Elite 5. The gold cards are level 28, Elite 2. Let's get the match is 7,500 coins. Putting attack and health modifiers on Kenshi is really powerful. We've got the flame shield on Devor. That obliterates him pretty much instantly. Flaming Fist Liu Kang coming in hot with some heavy damage on Cold War Scorpion. But he is burning away under one bar. So that shows the power of Cold War Scorpion. He is going to get off the special one, but that does wipe him out. So that's in a really bad spot. But that's why we have Jason Voorhees in there as well. So Dark Raven against Cutthroat Kano pretty much has no chance of winning. We're gonna go for the Shocker to get rid of Cutthroat Kano. The flaming Fuck Liu Kang is in. Now we're gonna run away. Flaming Fist Liu Kang eliminate for the victory of the first fight. Don't fuck with Scorpion. 3,335 XP, 500 coins. In the second matchup, we have Jackie Briggs, Revenant Jax Briggs, and Tactical Sonya Blade. Silver card gains a level to 41. Still the match is 7,500 coins. I think an all Triborg team is really cool. I think it's kind of cool what Netherrealm is doing with these like extra cards, but it's going to be interesting if they put a Triborg Sub Zero in at some point. Remember, that is an option, too. Although you, it's supposed to be hidden, there is a way you can do it. We're going to have to flame shield on Jackie Grid. That move does so much damage. You can see he's getting power drain under one bar, slowly ticking away. Tactical Sonya Blade in at one bar. That Arcan does not take out Scorpion, puts him at two bars. Tactical Sonya Blade gets eliminated. Revenant Jack brings it in a spear. Him. That is not blocked. So we're going to go for another spear, and I believe that Cold War Scorpion is going to survive. Yes, he is. For the victory of the second fight. 3,364 XP, 600 coins. 
On the third matchup, we have Reptile, Sun God, Kolokan, and A-List Johnny Catch. Cards gain a level of 42 and 29, so the match is 7,500 coins. Reptile and Cold War Scorpion started off. Keep in mind we have that extra bar from the bl bloody Tomahawk. Look out the flames from Reptile blocking. And they're still gonna burn away. 275 for Johnny Cage. So Sun God Kolokan burning away. That was a really powerful special too. Look out the flame shield again. Kolokan gets wiped out, Reptile eliminated, A-list Johnny Cage is not even at half a bar. I look out the flame shield on A-list Johnny Cage, I think we're gonna get Jason in and finish him off for the victory in the third fight. No chance of surviving that. What's going on 97P Howard? Welcome to stream, good to have you here. 3,393 XP, 700 coins. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. Well, up against Kung Jin, Blood God Kolokan, and Revenant Jax Briggs, who's Asian. Silver card gains a level of 43. Skip the match is now 10,000 coins. Well, the interesting thing about Mortal Kombat X is that there's no heavy attack. You pretty much just tap and swipe, and that is easier to do with one hand versus two with the justice. But also depends on who you play with, too. Like, as far as what character goes. Obviously, swiping, as you know, with Raven is a major pain in the ass. Which, obviously, we discussed in the past. Blood God Cole time in bad shape. Jason Voorhees wipes him out. Revenant Jack brings him. That's the damage that the flame shield did from Cold War Scorpion. Kung Jin and Dark Raven putting off the shocker on Revenant Jack so that should take out most of his health. Revenant Jack brings eliminate for the victory in the fourth fight. 3,422 XP, 800 coins. And for completing one third of the fourth battle, you receive four assaults. In the fifth matchup, we have Cassie Cage, Swarm Queen Devora, and Sun God Kobokot. Curbs gain a level of 44 and 30, so the match is 10,000 coins. Get it off now, anyways. Excellent. Got saved by the bloody tomahawk, I believe. Although Cassie Cage got eliminated, so it didn't even matter. Now the interesting thing that I saw about the flame shield crossbow is that it's based off of whoever the maximum health is. So obviously, if you're hitting somebody with 5,000 health with the flame shield. It's going to do nothing compared to hitting somebody for 50 power. So we got another flame shield. Down goes Sun God Cold Cock. What a great one. Fight. Fight. <laughs> 3,451 XP, 900 coins. Ouch. Well, that could be... They could make it a fast one like uh, Classic Sub-Zero. That'd be a little bit tricky, though. I think we're going to use the entire Revenant team. Because the idea here is that for two fights, we'll probably use uh, Slasher Jason for one and Classic Sub-Zero for the other. So, for this team, we're going to be using Sub Revenant Sub-Zero with damage gear. Let's also give him the bloody Shokin armor, though, for defense. 
and we're going to give him the brawler gloves. So for Reverend yes. and Jack Briggs, let's give him the dragon essence. Let's give him the revolvers. And let us give him the draconic shield. And we'll like Quan Chi. I think I have his gear item. Yep, Bound Demon, that's his. So, reduced power cost on all specials is pretty powerful with power generation. So, it's basically like the bloody Shokin Ring, but at uh, Fusion Level X, you have a 25% chance to convert 50% damage on health. I think that's actually better than the bloody Shokin Ring for Quan Chi, even though you sacrifice a little bit of damage. The fact that you have that is pretty powerful. Let's throw on. He has a lot of toughness. I think we have Raiden's gear. Storm at, there we go. Like when they first introduced the Storm Hat on Raiden, I'm like, why would you put this item on Raiden when he has like no toughness? So in the sixth matchup, we have Scorpion, Devora, Venomous Devora, and Demolition Sonya Blade. Silver card gains a level of 45. So the match is 10,000 coins. Well, here's an interesting thing. God's Realm actually has a vein mechanic. What do you guys think if they put that in the game? Do you think it would make it more complicated or do you think it would just be a stupid mechanic? I don't think it's actually necessary because you can combo a lot of attack and not have to die, but it does make it a little bit interesting. I think mostly with the special is where it would be pretty cool. And we fucked that up. We were supposed to get to three bars. I don't think we're going to get there now. But Jack Briggs is at two bars. He's got poison Jack. Scorpion is in. Keep in mind we still have Demolition Sung at the way to hit the fall. That's going to do a little bit. 3400 barely touches Jack Briggs with 45 percent extra health. The war gets eliminated. Sonya Blade is in. We should be able to get to a power bomb. That fire damage is really bad, but that's going to power drain quite a bit, so I don't think we're going to get that. But we'll see. Let's do this to be annoying. Get out. So is that three bars? Oh, well, we had the resurrection. It was we have to bring it and don't mess with the black man. Ten thousand eight hundred twenty-two damage. What a victory in a six fight. Three thousand four hundred eighty XP. One thousand coins. In the seventh matchup, we have Reptile, Covert Ops, Cassie Cage, and Inferno Scorpion. Silver card gains a level of forty-six. But the match is now twelve thousand five hundred coins. Reptile against Revenant Jack Briggs. And as you guys know, Revenant Jack Briggs was the first version of a gold Jack Briggs. Not heavy weapon. Covert Ops Cassie Cage is in. Very powerful and annoying card. I really wish I had that card. I probably should go get her someday. Reptile comes back in, that's a mistake. Inferno Scorpion is in. So we got the bring it and don't mess with the black man. What's going on, Mikey Box? That's gonna do heavy damage. Off the frost hammer is covered off Cassie Cage eliminated even blocking. Yes, she is for the victory in the seventh fight. 
3,509 XP, 1,100 coins. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic, or Team Takes Damage as the match goes on. Going up against Kotokan, Balls of Souls, Ermac, and Dark Raider. Cards gain a level of 47 and 31. Skip the matches, 12,500 coins. This is a perfect example of using Dark Raiding because he just would never die in this fight. And it's a really cool mechanic in my opinion. Kobokan's going to get eliminated here. The reason that we use Sub-Zero is he can actually heal quite a bit if the hammer hits. Like, for example, here we go. 9971 heal and limited sub zero back to full. Although for how long? So if you tag in Jack Briggs, for example, he's even less health than sub zero, even though he's been in the fight quite a bit. They got the multi slam. Dark Raiden should be eliminated for the victory in eight fights. How you like that? 3,538 XP, 1,200 coins. And for completing two-thirds of the fourth battle, you receive seven souls. In the ninth matchup, we have Devora Classic Sub-Zero and Cold War Sonya Blade. Silver card gains a level of 48, so the match is 12,500 coins. And yes, there are cards that have multiple, like, attack animations. And sometimes it's annoying when you get the wrong one. Classic Sub-Zero is it. Kind of just working our way up to three bars. That was really hit for about 2,500. Now we do have the Resurrect mechanic. There's no power drainer outside of for the mother. So unless we have to deal with that, we shouldn't have a worry about power drain. But the Vora comes back in. The Vora is gone. There's Cold War Sonya Blade. Let's get in Sub-Zero. We're gonna go off the Ice Ball. Get rid of that shield. So we want Cold War Sonya Blade to do a special. We're gonna go off the bring it and don't mess with the black man. So Cold War Sonya Blade not eliminated. Classic Sub Zero in. Freezes for 26.75. Freezes again for 27.18. Sub Zero back in. We're gonna go off the ice ball. Still allows to get rid of Classic Sub Zero because he's still broken. Ice barrier in the freeze. How fitting is that? Cold War Sonya Blade eliminated for the victory in a high fight. Still did not get off the special. 3,567 XP, 1,300 coins. In the 10th matchup, we have Farmer Jack Briggs, Unstoppable Jason Voorhees, and Dark Raiden. Curbs gain a level of 49 and 32, so the match is now 15,000 coins. A vampire vibe is definitely very creative. If you hang around while he's in quite a bit, you can learn a lot from his wisdom. Or sarcasm, depending on how you look at it. So unstoppable Jason Voorhees is it. We're gonna have to knock him out twice. Jack Briggs getting ready for that power bomb. I don't believe there's any power there, except for Fire and Jack Brick special too. Dark Raiden is in. Off the bring it, don't mess with the black man. Ah! 
Summer and Jack Briggs back in. Yeah, he put a power drain Jack Briggs and quickly did it from Summer. So Revenant Sub Zero is it. Unstoppable Jason, where he's gonna do a lot. Cross Hammer will get rid of him. And we're gonna make Jack Briggs our bitch. So, Farmer Jack Briggs eliminated for the victory of the top fight down the well. When I did this challenge, Boss Triborg was pretty beefy. Their stats are on par with Elite and Gold cards on hard. We'll have to see about that, because Slasher Jason and Classic Sub-Zero are ridiculous cards. 3,596 XP, 1,400 coins. So we're going to have to make a roster change. We're going to throw in each of the beefy cards. We're going to throw in Oni. We're just going to keep using them. Let's throw in Dark Emperor Liu Kang. So we're going to quickly give Sub-Zero the bloody set. In the 11th matchup, we have Scorpion, Ronin Kenshi, and Heavy Weapons Jack Brick. Silver card gains a level of 50, so the match is 15,000 coins. Let's just get rid of Scorpion right away, just because we can. What's going on, Brittany? Welcome to the Jack Briggs eliminated. Excellent. Now we have Aaron's favorite gold card, Roman Kenshin. And he's about to get bitch slapped by Dark Emperor Liu Kang. What a victory in the fight. Look at that 82 damage. 3,625 XP, 1,500 coins. So now we're going to throw in Slasher Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. And we're going to throw damage gear on him. For some reason, I don't like the bloody set as much on Jason. But I really do like it on Sub-Zero because of the unblockable special ones. If you hit 80%. So in the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Going up against Classic Katana, Undead Hunter, Johnny Cage, and Cold War Sonya Blade. Cards are level 50, and the gold cards gain a level of 33. So the match is 15,000 coins. What's going on, Silk Isaac? Welcome to stream as well. Fight. The classic Katana getting dominated. Cold War Sonya Blade is in. Who wants to see Johnny Cage get choked out at like no help? Yes. No ice shield will save you, bitch. with regeneration gets wiped out for the victory in the 12th fight. 3,654 XP, 1,600 coins. That isn't a 10 for 10 PM, I don't know what is. So, for completing the fourth battle, you will receive a card pack. Inside, you receive. It's 7 11 PM here. So, we get the sword, 1,200 coins. We get 3,600 coins. Give me something useful. And we get a scorpion for 6,000 coins. What the fuck kind of card pack is that? So in the fifth battle, Bojutsu Kunjin must be on your team. Let's take the filters off. So Kunjin is probably in the back of the list almost. Triborg at Elite 2 has more damage than Kunjin. That's funny. So let's use Kano. And let us use, we have six. Let's use Cutthroat Kano and Gunslinger Aaron Black for three fights. So that way we can use Grandmaster Classic. No, that doesn't matter. Let's just use, let's start off with Grandmaster Sub-Zero. We don't need Sub -Zero. Kano and Aaron Black. Um, I'm personally a Chips Ahoy fan. Oreos are good, but for some reason, I like the chips, especially if you get, like, M&M's. Personal opinion. So in the first matchup, we have Blood God, Kolokan, Balls of Souls, Ermac, and Nimble Reptile. Hard to start off at level 33, Elite 3, 3, and 2, so the match is 25 souls. Uh -huh. 
you got tension. Well, at least you got the same amount of coins as I did. So I've got Cole kind of I'm gonna freeze Ermax because he can't get off his special too. Looks like he's still gonna get it off. 5516, Mobile we'll Reptile is in. Pick up the Ice Ball on him. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the first fight. 3,625 XP, 600 coins. In the second matchup, we have Bojutsu Kun Jin, Cryomancer Sub Zero, and Injustice Scorpion. Cards gain a level of 34, so the match is 25 souls. Kunjin eliminate, Cryomancer Sub Zero is in. I got off the old boss Injustice Scorpion Eliminate for the victory of the second class. I really love that special too. 3,654 XP, 700 coins. And back before Slasher Jason and back before I had Injustice Scorpion Elite 7, Grandmaster Sub-Zero was one of my favorite cards level it up. So if you get that card, it's really good. I think he's a good tanky card. But if you have the Ice Daggers and you get a heal, it's insane. For the third matchup, we have Sun God Kolokan, Stunt Double, Johnny Cage, and Possess Kenshi. A lot of annoying stun on tagging mechanics. The cards gain a level of 35, so the match is 25 souls. Oh, well, you got a classic Scorpion. That's really good. So yeah, Slasher Jason is probably one of the best gold cards as well. I still think Classic Scorpion is a little bit better because being able to control who you damage is pretty powerful. You got the Ice Ball and get rid of Johnny Cage. Oh, it doesn't get rid of him. So we can hit the cop. Well, Dust Kenshi's gonna burn it too. Again, I don't really care because Sub-Zero is gonna destroy Kenshi, but we are going to freeze him up. He's not gonna do a whole lot. Pick up the sheep him in the BB sand slide which gets blocked. Possess Kenshi eliminate for the victory in the third fight. So we level up a card finally as Bojutsu Kunjin gains a level of 9. 800 coins, 3,683 XP. So we're going to make our first roster change. We're going to throw in Classic Sub-Zero. And let's throw in Cutthroat Kane who costs less gold than other characters. So again we're going to use the Ice Daggers. Let's use the Bloody Shoken Armor. And let us use, not the Gladiator Mask, let's use the Brawler Gloves. So the fourth matchup, we have Revenant Jax Riggs, Cryomancer Sub-Zero, and Ninjutsu Scorpion. Cards are made at level 35, so the match is now 35 soul. In the case of Classic Sub-Zero, the problem with him is that the move doesn't carry over to multiple opponents. I think that if his special two actually hit more than one person, it would be better than Classic Sub-Zero. Or better than Classic Scorpion, even though I really like Scorpion's ability a lot better. Just because of the extra damage you do from bleeds, and the fact that if, for example, a possessed Kenshi tag in, you can actually bait him out. I really like that mechanic. Like, for example, if Revenant Jack breaks that half health, it's basically good for beating up threatening cards that come in early. Like, if you start a fight with Kenshi, then we're just gonna get off the slide kick anyways. Look at that, 94%, no balls. So that would have ended it anyways. I think I did get up to six ones. As Revenant Jack Springs gets eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. Yep, now is the best time to get them because they actually discounted it. It used to be, what was it, 180 souls or something like that? 3,712 XP, 900 coins. And I'm sure that Jason's going to be coming out in a couple weeks. They're probably just going to save it for Halloween. I really think that what they should have done is just started running multiplayer seasons. Kind of like, you know, they did originally for Slasher Jason. Then they just put them in a pack after two seasons. Like, I really think that, you know, having it in a pack is dumb. But, I think, you know, having some Faction Wars characters that you can only get for placing high enough... 
I think it would actually give a point to faction. I think that's what pisses me off about faction wars the most is that you cannot get anything other than Dark Emperor Liu Kang that's actually worth getting besides the bloody set. I don't think the new set is actually that good. Although having extra special 1 and 2 damage is kind of cool. I'd find it a little bit better on diamond cards, but wouldn't you just rather run more basic damage? What do you guys think? Uh, if you guys want to see the stats of the, of the fourth PvP gear item, the Tusha Bane of the Mora, it's probably okay if you're running it like on a full, on a diamond character if you have all four PvP items because you'd gain 15% damage and then you'd have 25% special 1 and 2 boost, which I imagine is multiplicative. So your special 1 and 2, like on Classic Scorpion, his special 1 is going to be insane with this item. It's actually a little bit more offensive because the Tomahawk just gives you a bar of power and um, a power drain on special 2. But on Classic Scorpion, this gear item might still be better just because it does more damage. Obviously, I haven't maxed this item out. I probably could get like 5 or 6 upgrades on it, but... Uh, maybe I should do Faction Wars for that a little bit. So in the fifth matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. Going up against Sun God, Kovalkan, Injustice, Scorpion, and Hat Trick, Kuba. Cards gain a level of 36. If the match is 35 souls. Fight. Yes, it is definitely a good time to get the max out. And if you get Faction Wars up to a decent point, can't you get, like... Almost enough for one promotion, like right off the bat. Oh, look at that damage! 202. Is Kunjin gonna get rid of Sun God Kobo Khan? No, 417. And Justice Scorpion comes in. Cutthroat Kano is in. Well, I think his special one is pretty bad. His special two is not that terrible. How is he not dead yet? That's that's the double side. 666 damage on that tiger from Hat Trick Kung Lao. So we got the attitude problem that should get rid of Hat Trick Kung Lao if we get a good swipe. Yes, it does. Sun God Kolo Khan is in. And the card that costs less gold than all other gold cards gets a couple of kills. <laughs> And I can guarantee they're never going to repeat the Raiden challenge ever again. They want people to pay souls for it. Pick up the slide kick, get rid of his Justice Scorpion for the victory in the fifth fight. 3,741 XP, 1,000 coins. Yes, and keep in mind with the daily bonuses, you get 19 souls a day. So it is a good thing. And for completing one third of the fifth battle, you receive 10 souls. So in the 6th matchup, we have Nimble Reptile, Mournful Katana, and Balanced Kenshi. Cards are level 36. The match is 35 souls. So these two cards start at one bar and can power drain. That's really annoying. Actually, everybody starts at one bar because Reptile is also powerful. That poison reduces one. Nimble Reptile is pretty much gone. Let's get out to avoid getting power drain. Off the Kano ball. Scorpion or Sub Zero is at two hard. That Kano ball actually took out about half a ton. It was not as crappy as I thought. Katana is at two bars, however. But Kano is at a bar. Another Kano ball. This one blocked. Balance Kenshi is in. Doesn't do that much because it gets blocked. We're going to go off the slide kick. And we only hit 78%, so unfortunately, it does not. Why was Kenshi glowing there? Does Classic Sub-Zero do more damage against martial arts? What's up with that? Three thousand seven hundred and seventy XP, one thousand one hundred coins. Sub-Zero. No. That's weird. I don't know why, uh, Balance Kenshi was glowing like that. Throwing Dark Lord Cold Cots. We have Injustice Scorpion. 
who was my first ever level 50 Elite 7 in Mortal Kombat X. I know they say it's Fusion 7. I think it sounds so dumb. So in the seventh matchup, we have Undercover Cassie Cage, Possessed Kenshi, and Bo Jitsu Kun Jit. Kurt's getting a level to 37. Let's go to the matches now. 45 souls. Cover Cassie Cage eliminates the best Kenshi with that fire attack. Look at spear and get rid of him. That's just annoying. Impressive. Oh, Jitsu Kun Jin is it. Look at spear and get rid of all of his health. Oh, Jitsu Kun Jin about to go down. What a victory in the seventh fight. Three thousand seven hundred ninety-nine XP, one thousand two hundred coins. In the eighth matchup, we have Tactical Sonya Blade, Revenant Sub Zero, and Heavy Weapons Jack Briggs, who is black. Let's get the matches: forty-five souls. And for anybody curious, I did open a seventy-five K gold booster pack on my Android account, and I got a two Titan Cyborg. So I'm not really happy with that one, but I don't know. Maybe I can make it work. Tactical Sonya Blade Eliminate, Revenant Sub Zero is in. I think he's one of the only cards that can actually heal while you're tagged out, so there probably is some merit, like if you start him, get in the two bars, get off like a touchdown, and then have somebody else in, like uh, Team Titans Raven. So it's kind of funny, I actually think Ares is better than Team Titans Raven because that unblockable special two could be insane, but Team Titans Raven does have a good special two. Maybe I just got unlucky in some of the fights I did. 3,828 XP, 1,300 coins. In the ninth matchup, we have Balls of Souls, Ermac, Hat Trick, Kung Lao, and A-List Johnny Cage. Cards gain a level of 38. So the match is 45 souls. Master Souls Ermac is eliminated. Hat trick Kung Lao is in. Kung Lao eliminated just by blocking. Hey, was Johnny Cage at one bar. We got the flip kick and get rid of him. For the victory in the eighth fight. 3,857 XP as Bojutsu Kung Jin gains a level of 10. 1,400 coins. Actually, that was the ninth fight, not the eighth. So we're going to make another roster change. We're going to throw in Inferno Scorpion. And let's throw in Dark Empress Katana. Scorpion. We can actually have a little bit of fun with it. So let's throw on the Ice Daggers. Let's throw on the Bloody Shokin Armor. And let's put on the Brawler Gloves. So in the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Going up against Revenant Jack Briggs, Undead Hunter, Johnny Cage, and Dark Raiden. The cards are level 38. Skip the matches now. 55 salt. What's going on, Death Slayer? How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. So Revenant Jack Briggs gets out. Undead Hunter, Johnny Cage. He's going off the spear. <laughs> Not enough to get rid of him. That power drain hurts. Johnny Cage barely survives there, but they still get rid of him. Dark Raider is there. A little bit of damage. Oh. Now let's get off the spear. Dark Raiden should be eliminated. <laughs> Revenant Jack Brick in by himself. That grab is going to do minor damage. Infernal Scorpion is still well over half health. We got the spear. Excellent. Get over here! Revenant Jack Briggs eliminated for the victory in the top five. 3,886 XP, 1,500 coins. And for completing two thirds of the fifth battle, you receive 13 souls. So in the 11th matchup, we have Shaolin Master Kung Lao, Bone Shaper Shinook, and Tactical Sonya Blade. Let's get the matches 55 souls. Fight. 
Shaolin Master Kulao is about to get eliminated. Bone Shaper Shinnok comes in. Let's get off a spear. It appears to be blocked. Impressive. Oh, Scorpion taking some damage. So Bone Shaper Shinnok is going to attack the Gosonia Blade again. That arc kick's going to do some work. Now, here's a scenario. We're going to get off a couple spears. Actually, we're just going to get off one. Get off the Vortex. Let's see what's going to play. Shaolin Master Kung Lao eliminated for the victory in the top 5. 3,915 XP, 1,600 coins. In the 12th matchup, we have Undead Hunter Johnny Cage, Slasher Jason Voorhees, and Grandmaster Sub Zero. Cards get a level of 39, so the match is 55 souls. So this is a pretty cancerous team because there are three resurrect mechanics all together. Now, I did not get any diamond cards from last night, Death Slayer. I think I opened up like ten off three and I still didn't get that power drain gonna hurt. Coral Scorpion already started to get low. Slasher Jason Voorhees is very important that we manipulate the special on your other people. We're gonna get Bojutsu Kung Jin. I just arrow and piss him off. Impressive. Kung Jin is gone. Grandmaster Sub Zero comes in. Actually, takes some heavy damage. Here. Let's get off the Ice Decoy. Now, he is at two bars, so I think it's good to have. Katana, take this. That cold toss should get rid of it. Yes, it does. Grandmaster Sub Zero is gone. We're gonna spear Jason. There's the second life. Now the special two is not gonna be able to kill Infernal Scorpion, and he doesn't get to use it for the victory in the 12th fight. 3,944 XP, 1,700 coins. So now we have Dark Magic in the 13th fight. Let's use Classic Scorpion and Slasher Jason Voorhees. So we have the Bloody Tomahawk, the Voodoo Doll. Let's throw on the Shokin Armor. And Slasher Jason Voorhees. We're going to give the Ice Daggers, the Brawler Gloves, along with the Hockey Mask. So in the 13th matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic. Your team takes damage as the match goes on. We're up against a -Liz, Johnny Cage, Gunslinger, Aaron Black, and Balance Kenshi. The cards gain a level of 40. So the match is 55 souls, and the right card gains a promotion to Elite 3. So let's get off the Power Drain before Johnny Cage then. Let's get off the Spear. Gunslinger Aaron Black is limited. We're going to spear Balance Kenshi before he can react. Excellent. 30,000 damage down goes Balance Kenshi for the victory in the 13th fight. 3,973 XP, 1,800 coins. In the 14th matchup, we have Shaolin Kung Jin, Piercing Molina, and Classic Sub Zero. Let's give the matches 55 souls. Fight. We're going to get rid of Shaolin Kung Jin. Pearson Molina is in. Pearson Molina Grop, we're just gonna burn classic sub zero so we can't do much. And get rid of him for the victory in the 14th fight. 4,002 XP, 1,900 coins. So in the 15th fight, Cyrax Smoke and Sector merge to complete Boss Triborg. So Boss Sector Triborg has 13,000 damage, 33,000 health, is level 45 Elite 3. Boss Smoke Triborg level 30 Elite 1, 13,000 damage, 25,000 health. And Boss Cyrax Triborg 8,265 damage, 70,000 health. Still seems really underwhelming. Cards, that card is level 30 Elite 1. Skill the match is 90 souls. So what do we do right off the bat? We spear Triborg. 
<laughs> and win the game. Get over here! Over so Boss Smoke tried to come to almost at one bar. Let's screw and get rid of him. Impressive. Come here! Boss Cyrax Triborg is in. Yeah, we're gonna get off a spear. This fight is already over. Get over here! I don't even think they got to do anything. Impressive. Come here! And Hack and Slash Boss Cyrax Triborg gets dominated. No damage on our team for the victory in the 15th fight. 4,837 XP as Bojutsu Kujin gains a level of 11, 2,000 coins. And for completing the fifth battle, you receive 33 souls. For completing hard difficulty, you will receive another cyber armor. That's the third upgrade we got for that. So 21% heal, 32.5% resistance. So we need seven more to get the 25% basic damage. And we also get our second sector triborg. And that's 618 attack, 515 health, 550 toughness, 525 recovery. Every promotion you get half of the stats for the base promotion. Archeum, I made a video on why Classic Scorpion is the best card in the game. That is a perfect example right there. Unblockable spear that does bleed damage. And yeah, that's pretty powerful. So we have one day and 15 hours remaining, and Sector Triborg is complete on hard difficulty. If you like this video on the full five battles, including Classic Scorpion just dominating the final battle, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona, and have a wonderful day, kids. Who's next? www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!